Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and since today is my birthday I thought let's do something with a present and the big trouser starts with a present and we'll do uh, this is something unconventional, okay? So we'll try to beat the inverse mode that adds 200% bonus HP to the enemies without a single weapon and I don't mean laurel or clock lancet I literally mean not a single weapon We'll kick it off with the Vine Bloodline, which whenever we kill an enemy with retaliatory damage, we gain 0.5 max HP. That is the only thing we care about. And there are a bunch of Arcana that would be good here. By the way, we need armor. If I don't get that, I have to reset. <gasps> there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so next Arcana of choice is that ghost is annoying. Good, I got the ghost. There we go. And the next Arcana that we need. I'm not too sure which one is actually the right one. I think the Heart of Fire is probably the good one. Like, if you check it out, it explodes. It's retaliatory damage. Another option would have been Awake. Another option would have been Game Killer, but Game Killer is really boring, and I only do that if we can't do anything else anymore. But Heart of Fire also allows us to destroy the breakables on the stage. Is there anything else that would be good? I mean, this is later on good. It actually scales with Heart of Fire, the might bonus as far as I know. Actually, I'm not too sure about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Listed weapons, we don't have any weapons. Yeah, okay, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. I have no idea. I haven't tested it out. Like, I theory crafted a bit just to get an idea of what I want to do. Um, Empty Tome should also be entirely useless as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong and it scales with something that we have. I only have to be careful that I don't take damage too often, okay? So, we take a lot of time to scale up, right? And optimally speaking, we want to have a chicken right about now that we recover our HP. Because we have 270, which is quite a lot. Usually you start with, I think, around 100, 130 or so. That was a coin. Okay, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's keep banishing. In another optimal case, we would also only get the weapons at the very end, and we banish them there. I'm pretty sure we have enough banishes. Oh, Pomerula. Oh, that is good. Yeah, that means more healing from the chickens. That is a very good option. Uh, what else do we go for? I, I'm, I I have no idea. I knew I need armor, because I know the enemies deal more than one damage, so eventually they'll just, like, it, it will just go super fast downwards, and we die. There was a chicken, 57 is not that much, there's a coin. Just gotta keep avoiding the enemies a bit, while we are on low HP. Though, also don't mistake our low HP for low HP, because that little bit that we have there is probably 70 HP right now, I would guess. I guess it's around that. Uh, there we go. Okay, we need Chiragisu. Oh yeah, that is very important. If you enjoy the content, then please consider subscribing and giving the video a like so we can hit 69,000 subscribers this year. The entire plan is pretty much build up a huge cushion of HP and when we revive, like it doesn't matter if we have barely anything left, but once we revive, we revive with half HP, right? So if we had half a million HP, then we revive with quarter a million HP and um, that, that is a lot, right? Like before we died we may have had 100 or so it definitely wasn't a lot because we died that is beautiful okay do you think we can actually do that i'm I, i'm honestly not sure but i hope let's go for i think i'll go for the hollow heart here you want to take it as late as possible because the bonus is applied the moment you pick it up so the more hp you have the better i just wanted to make sure that we have it now spinach should actually bump up our damage let's see 120 that looks like it went up right one, oh, 150. Oh, wow. No, I think it definitely went up. I gotta give this another shot and check it out, but there's armor. So armor buffs up the Bloodline Arcana, and I think the other damage buffs up the Heart of Fire, but I may be wrong and Spinach was completely wasted. Though, wow, that is, that is a lot of damage, I gotta say. How are we looking HP-wise? 1k. We just doubled our base HP. Look at this tiny amount that the chicken just gave us. Now you may say, okay Dex, uh, you will never ever die, right? Like, how are you supposed to die? I didn't remember the numbers. Let's do that later. Okay, we'll check out the numbers later if anything goes up when we upgrade spinach. But yeah, how will you die? Well... It's actually not that difficult to die. There are some enemies in this game that deal like 25 to 30 damage. And in other words, uh, 200... I don't know if it went up. 220. In other words, they'll pretty much just kill you. <laughs> like, even if you have 10 armor, you still take 15 damage. And they do that quite fast, like how fast they attack you. Uh, there we go. Make sure to not banish any items, because I don't know how many weapons are left. I think I counted them, and with 10 banishes, it would have been enough. But we got 20. Or maybe it was exactly 20? Could have also been the case. Okay, 220 to... 
Something is just weird about the Heart of Fire. Oh my god. It goes up because it scales with the might that we have, I think. Right? That would make sense. Why it keeps going up like crazy. Wait, but why does it still go up then? It should stop already. Because the scaling stops at 900% might. Well, at least for weapons. No, it keeps going up. Look at this. What? Wait a second. Does it infinitely go up? And the limitation of 900% bonus might is only for weapons? That would be hilarious. Now, one arcana that we kind of want to go for later that I thought about is the Gold Fever arcana. We could have went for that already, but I thought that would be... It's difficult, okay? Because the main way how we survive super tough waves is we have to face tank them. We don't have another option. And uh, if we wait too long to build up our HP with the Bloodline Arcana, or never do it, then we will just die there. Also, the Gold Fever Arcana can't be triggered without the Heart of Fire. At least, I, I can't think about an option. Uh, reason being, you need to destroy the breakables to get the gold bags, right? Or the clover. And um, yeah, for that we need the explosion. We can't do it otherwise without a weapon. I really hope I have enough banishers and I didn't mess this up. Oh, another thing that we kind of want to have is over here... The the effect, not the effect. Wait a second, let me think about this. Tiragisu. And do we need anything else? We could go for Toruna for a little bit more damage, but do we need more damage? Crown is pointless because the more you level up, the stronger the enemies become. So at one point, we actually don't want to level up anymore. Which may be the point where we go for the Game Killer Arcana. The reason why I didn't want to go for Game Killer Arcana is it's really good until you get to the point where the enemies have set HP. So in this game, there's a mix of enemies. Most of them, they just scale with your level. So they have a base value of, let's say, 5. That is the final wave. They have a base value of 5. That is multiplied by 10, because all numbers are multiplied by 10 in this game. And then it's multiplied with your level. So if you're level 28, it's, yeah, multiplied by 28. 50 times 28. And that means it's very easy to kill them. If you stop at level 1 because you got a double Arcana, Arcana, right? However, <laughs> uh, there are enemies, they just have a base 22 HP, which is multiplied by 10, 220, and if you look at our damage, we wouldn't be able to deal with that if we wouldn't level up, you know, with Heart of Fire, because the Bloodline Arcana does way, way less damage. And then it's also tripled because we play on inverse mode. And then it's multiplied with our curse. So even more. We have 50% curse. Yeah, yeah. I didn't limit anything, by the way. Like, we kept everything that you usually have in this game if you bought everything. I didn't want to do that. Let's just keep banishing here. I could go over to the arrow now. I guess we can do that. Maybe I'll just get a clover. The benefit of a clover would be that we get more droppables. And I think we need the healing or some of the bonuses from that. Yeah, that would be good. So, do we want to have the Gold Fever Arcana, or do we want to have Awake? And both of them are valid choices, because Awake gives us 10% bonus HP every time we die, as well as Armor, which, um, that is a huge amount, okay? I mean, we have like 6,000 HP right now. It would be kind of fun to go for it, not because it's needed, but, um, <laughs> to get a huge amount of HP. Like, just imagine this, you make one of the most powerful runs, and you don't even have a single weapon. None. Okay, I keep saying this, but I'm not 100% sure if we can actually banish all the weapons. Let's hope for the best. So every single time we explode, we take one damage right now. Later on, it will be more. As long as we pick up enough chickens... Oh, I was maxed out. As long as we pick up enough chickens, that is totally fine, right? So we need to pick up a chicken once per minute. Okay, it's a little bit more. You can get attacked like five times a second. But as long as we pick up a chicken every 12 seconds, we are good. That's why I said luck could be very beneficial. Oh, mama beautiful. Uh, what is the last item that I want to have? I don't know. I definitely don't want to have Curse. Yeah, no, I don't think Curse would be good. As far as I remember, Retaliation damage actually gets buffed up if you have Curse. Mm, let's roll once and... Do you think Ken Lapador would affect the explosions? Because we're getting to a point where I really don't know what item I want to have. Would it make- Oh, these are tough enemies. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, they have a ton of damage. I'm not too sure how much damage they have right now. There's another weapon. Is the Empty Tome any good? I don't think it affects it. Like, it shouldn't? That it can trigger more often? I don't know. There we go. Rosary, beautiful. Oh, okay, so I'm on the wiki. It can also be affected by a mount and cooldown, which is not the case when it's an arcana effect or other instances when it's used. Oh, okay, so what they mean is if you mod it in as a weapon. Oh, okay. Weird. I mean, sure. It's definitely, I, I think at least, it's definitely affected by might, right? This should be might that does that. That, like, it's at 1k damage. Like, what is going on there? <laughs> 
is so much damage. Like, that is really a lot. You may have noticed I haven't banished a Laurel yet. Because in case I got it wrong and we can't banish all the weapons, then yes, I have to go for Laurel. But we'll not evolve it. Never ever. We'll just keep it as a Laurel, which is a little bit cheaty. Like, it's not what we intended. But hey, what am I supposed to do? It's not like I can magically come up with more banishes. I can. If I go for Silent Old Sanctuary... Oh, yeah. Well... But do I want to go for that as next Arcana? I would only need to keep going for four more minutes. I think I can do that. There's Bracelet, okay. Ah, go away, Ghost. They deal a ton of damage. Ah, there we go. Well, if I get... F well, but how much would I even get? I think three Banishes, right? It should be enough. L let's wait until all the Banishes are gone. If there are still weapons left. If yes, then we panic. If no, then easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll take... Awake? Maybe? That early? Yeah, because if we die, then we would waste 10% HP. That would really be annoying. Oh, no. I don't think I banished any of the super rare weapons. And um, there was Shadow Pinion. And there are like, what, five super rare weapons at least, if not more. I definitely miscounted. Okay. That, 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 that's okay. Silent Old Sanctuary at 11 minutes. 21 is then awake, I guess. That means we can't heal... And I'm not even sure if it will be enough, the banishes. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I gotta be really careful. My HP keeps declining. Oh, double chicken, nice. But we don't know if it's because it goes up so much or if I'm actually losing HP, you know. So, that actually... Huh, I don't want any here. Let's go for... Do we just gamble on the area? <gasps> the explosions are affected by might and area. Oh my god, yes. Okay, okay, okay. We could have went for Taruna. Okay, to be fair. And then we would have gotten might and area. But do you think we need more might? We have 7k right now. That means now I will also take the Empty Tome. I don't believe it does anything. But, like, we are not losing anything, right? Except for one or two levels. Which may actually be beneficial. Wait, hold on a moment. So, if we don't pick up the other Empty Tomes... It takes us four levels to max us out if we take the arrow and this ring. We have another 16 levels to go. Yes! Okay, no, that's good. We'll definitely- Oh my god, okay, there are so many weapons left. This is not good. Oh no. I really thought we were about to be done, but- <laughs> Look! It's technically zero weapons. What am I supposed to do? No, I definitely need to save some time, so I'll not pick up anything here. Um, do I already trigger the Guardian? I mean, we can... Can we kill the Guardian? He has 25,000 HP multiplied by 3, so 75,000 right now. We deal 1.46k damage. Oh, he needs to bump a lot into us. Though, he may not even need to bump us, as long as, like, you know, someone bumps us and creates the explosion. Hmm... Let me pick up the arrow, because then we can max it out and heal a little bit more. That was a voice crack. Can Labrador, bigger area, huge. If I would have known it's affected by it, then I would have taken this way earlier. Because that would have meant way more kills, and we get hit way less. There we go. Beautiful. And I would have definitely went for the Toruna over the spinach. Hey, you gotta be kidding me. Why are there so many weapons? I thought we were almost done. Okay, Metallio left, there we go, let's burn him up, there. oh my god, 1.5k damage, don't tickle me, this dude does a ton of damage, so you don't want to get hit by him, we just want to be close that we explode him, do we even care about that? Yeah, I'm not too sure, uh, Metallio left, uh, no area, area for now, more enemies hit means uh, more HP, 9k, nice, beautiful, oh no, oh no, <laughs> wait, why is Clover banished? Wait, which idiot banished Clover? Why did I do that? But I mostly banish weapons, right? I'm pretty sure it looks like it. Oh, yeah, big brain dex. Oh, yeah, I'm struggling with banish. Actually, I thought 20 were enough, okay. So, well, but we only had exactly 20. It definitely didn't work out. Okay, let's go over here. I want to pick up the ring. That way we can already start exploding the Guardian a little bit from time to time. And another 8 level ups that it requires. Don't pick up any chests. Should have avoided that from get-go. I mean, I, I didn't know that this will all go wrong. How much HP do we have? Oh, almost 10k. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. That's like, yeah. If you, every day Sunday. <laughs> totally normal. Don't worry about it. So, we almost deal 2k damage. It's impossible to get to the Guardians. 
<laughs> it's just funny because usually the opposite is the problem. It's impossible to get away from the guardians. But now, uh, yeah, easy peasy. Uh, let me get some healing, please. It's the same thing still. As long as we only take one damage, we roughly need one chicken maybe per minute. There's our chicken. Nice, there's another chicken. Okay. As long as the bar is black, though, I can't see how much HP we have left. Like, right now, this little pixel here probably means we have 1k HP. That was so easy. Okay, Mad Groove is pointless. This is pointless. <laughs> it was all pointless. Oh, yeah, we have to go for this. So, we get... Three banishes. Is it even worth it? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Imagine there's exactly one weapon left, you know, and I banish Clover for whatever reason. That would be ironic. But I think it's fair to say that at this point, Laurel will not make a difference, right? Like, you would agree with that. We already managed to get through the game for 12 minutes. I'll try to delay it as much as I can. How would I delay that? I would need to prevent picking up experience. Huh. Okay, technically speaking, there is a way to do that. Which is, you stand still. Oh, but then I shouldn't banish. I should upgrade my stuff mainly. So, you just stand still, and you don't gather any experience anymore, and you also can't gather anything else that is on the floor. Like, like this, pretty much. Here. There you go. Yeah. So, as you can see, we don't get any more experience. Is this good or is this bad? I mean, it's working. But we have to be careful with red gems. Like, red gems can easily have a couple hundred levels later on. Yeah, so let's go for Empty Tome. I'll max out the items now that we have and focus on that. And then we know that we have to slow down once we get to the max. I still can't believe that, like, what, 20 banishes or so are not enough for the entire thing? <laughs> no, it's more, because I also sealed away 10 weapons. This is ridiculous. Like, uh, we can't see it here. On the next level up, let's take a look again. It's just ridiculous. There we go. Okay, Rosary. Yeah, look at this. How is this not enough? And only the clover is an item, right? Yeah, everything else is correct. Ah, oh, how did I miss that? I was so sure it would be enough. Why did I just get so much random experience from over there? What? Okay. Gotta be careful. Never ever pick up... Oh, also be careful with vacuums. The... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is our... Oh. Oh. Is our natural health regeneration enough? To recover my HP. You know, if we only rarely get hit and we have, what, uh, 1.6 recovery right now? Is that enough? It should be, right? Well, unless the enemies deal too much damage, but we will have the, what is it called, the awake, and that means we keep scaling up every single time we die, so I kind of want to die. Okay, this is making it quite easy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll stop taking the experience in in a moment. But you'll see, it gets less and less and less. The more it randomly creates them on the outside, the less we pick up and then eventually it's just like the red gem left. Here you can, by the way, this is the best way to see it, how it progresses. It's, it's very little. Okay, I mean, we almost have it. So at this point I kind of regret that we don't have Laurel and don't have the other thing. I think, yeah, it's the arrow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And evolve it just to see how much damage it would deal. Because if Heart of Fire deals this much damage, then an actual retaliation weapon, how much damage do you think it would deal? That has like way higher base damage, so the multiplier should be a lot higher. 10k? 12k at this point? <laughs> it's, um, it's probably quite a lot. Okay, let me heal up a little bit. Metalio left. Oh wow, we have a lot of levels left. Careful, Dex. If there is a vacuum in there, it's game over. That's just a lot of stuff. Nice. Careful with the red gem. Careful with the red gem. I guess I could also just take chests. What do you think about that? Like here. Oh, beautiful. A single chest. Exactly what I didn't want to have. Too risky. That is most likely... That could also be the boss red gem. But it could have also created one there because this is in the corner. And corners are very likely to create them. Yeah, I'll just keep running and get the chest. We didn't get a single triple chest and only get Empty Tome. It's a little bit sad. I don't think Empty Tome has any effect on anything. But yeah, in other words, the faster I max out, the less I will move around and the less likely it becomes that I accidentally walk into Red Gem because I didn't see it. Also, okay, so how do I do this? 
<sighs> that would have been really bad. The good thing is, if we explode one of them, they will explode on their own and trigger all the other candelabras, right? So that's good. That's really good. Okay, I, I want to leave here. This is a little bit too dangerous for me. Goodbye. I'll just go over here. Is there a vacuum? No, good, good, good. I mean, we could go for Sarah Band of Healing, but does this look like we want to have that? How much would we recover? 3.8 and it would deal, yeah, 3.8 damage to the enemies. That is nothing on inverse mode. So if we go through wave 16, this one here, without getting scratched really, without getting harmed, because these witches, they deal a ton of, okay, they have no chance. Yeah, th there's nothing that will ever happen. Do you agree that there is zero chance that I could lose this? Because keep in mind, we have three revivals. We are about to get three more that also increase our armor and HP. Like there's just no way that we lose, right? Do you agree with that? I think it worked out, I think I achieved it. The later enemies, they deal more damage, but by far not enough to kill us. Like, it's literally impossible because they can't attack often enough to kill us. It, it doesn't work. So, what about we actually go for Shroud and go a little bonkers? I think I like the idea, so I will head over to the other Guardian, the Arrow, and get it, just that we can. But I think I will do it at a very late stage, like that people don't say, Oh, but you would have lost, you would have lost if, if you just kept going. Let's do it at around maybe 25 minutes. It's not like we are losing anything, right? Oh, but it's retaliatory damage. So, like, the more we trigger it, the more bonus HP we would get. Hmm. But yeah, the witches and the bosses, like, they are pretty much the most powerful enemies that you can face in this game. And it didn't even move this pixel here. No, not even dead. And that pixel is probably like 5% of our HP. Um, th th that is a lot of HP, okay. Actually, it should be more. It should be way more than that. Oh, and that would also mean if we go for Laurel, then we can limit break. Like, we can just take all the experience and see how crazy we can... No, that's way more fun. Okay, how about this? Just for me to understand this a bit better as a YouTuber, which way would you have preferred? If I went through the entire game with zero weapons, just, you know, to, to achieve the, in quotation marks, goal of the video, or would you have said, uh, listen Dex, we all see that there's no way that you'll die. Like, a majority of the damage I only take because I walk around, I could just stand still and do nothing. And it's way more fun to go for Crimson Shroud and go bonkers, so please do that. Uh, to which fraction do you belong? Because based on that, I'll change what I do in the future. Honestly, I don't mind which one it is. This one is also fun. We will just skip through a majority of the video, probably, because um, there's only so much standing still that I can show to you that is still entertaining. Okay, there we go. Another arrow. Beautiful. It's not an arrow, I know. But now it's maxed out, so our... Yeah, look at our recovery. We actually heal more than most enemies can deal to us per second, as long as they get exploded and insta-die. Look at how rarely we get attacked. It's... Slightly faster. Yeah, there are too many weapons. We can forget about this. They attack slightly slower than we recover HP. Actually, they attack like once per second. Wait, we recover way more HP than they deal damage to us. That's, uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> you poor suckers. How is this the most broken build I've ever had? Like, in these challenges. Usually, when I do these, we have something that is it's like, there are difficult points in the video that almost make me fail, but this time, no, nothing like that at all. And I'll just rush over to the Metallium right now. I made a decision, we'll take it. I may die here because I keep walking into the enemy, so we take way more damage than we usually would. Uh, but we are also scaling up our HP a lot faster. Look at this. It was just at 588, now it's at 595. Is it time? Yes, it's time. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I want the explosions. Right now, the Laurel is either way pointless. Like, it's so bad that it doesn't do anything. But if you honestly believe that 26,000 HP would not be enough with three revivals, and we are about to get three more every time we revive with half of the HP plus 10%, um, th then I don't know. Like, we are playing different games, apparently. I don't know what to say. We still haven't died. <laughs> oh, this is just insane. Oh, I could also... Well, if I banish it now, I could do that. Or skip. No, let, let's just do it, okay? I committed to it now that we go for Laurel. It's fine. Let's do it. 5k damage, retaliatory damage. How much damage do you think the Shroud will deal? It would be so disappointing if it's not really affected by it. Like, I think it's affected, but it actually isn't. Oh, that would be sad. Yeah. Well. Oh. Mama, I have... I have an additionally crazy idea. 
I don't know if you're ready for this, actually. So, what we could do is... I could wait with the level pickups until 21 minutes and we go for Wicked Season to get more experience, to get more curse, and just go bonkers with that. What do you think about that? That sounds amazing. How are you still alive, by the way? <gasps> he actually killed me. Well, yeah, okay, to be fair, the Guardians are quite strong. Yeah, and I talked about that, right? We were not healing enough, but um, how are you still alive? Can you explain that to me? You should have, well, 75,000, right? Yeah, it does take a while. Oh, now we deal way less damage. But do you see that we now have 14,000 HP? This will take the rest of the game that this gets low. In fact, I don't even believe that it will ever reach a low state. I just have to max out everything that we have right now. Oh, that will take a while. And I can't pick up the red gem. If I pick up the red gem, we get a huge amount of level ups and I have to evolve first. This is very important. But what I'll pick is Wicked Season, because we get a huge amount of level ups, and from that we get bonus stats in Growth and Curse, and then we just tell the game, yeah, here, look at me, I'm invulnerable. And Laurel, is, is it 7 maxed out? I think it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we need 8 more level ups. There's a red gem, don't fall for it, it's a trap, okay? But I want the bad. Hello there. I can't believe that it took 21 minutes until we finally died the very first time. <laughs> <laughs> and that was even with me walking through the enemies all the time. Did I say awake? No, 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 Wicked Season. Yeah, Wicked Season. Uh, how much HP? Yeah, it would be 10% and one armor. That would have been so broken. Oh, another day. There it is. There it is. Okay, so the only thing we need now is max it out, kill this boss, evolve it, and then pick up the red gem while the growth is doubled. How many level ups do you think we get out of this? It, it's probably not that much, because look at our kill counter, right? It's really low. It's not a lot. So don't expect that we get like 200 levels out of it. Maybe? Could it be? No, I don't think so. It shouldn't be. How are you still alive, you two? By the way. If I find a rosary, there should be a rosary. Nope, there's no rosary anywhere. Okay. And we're getting closer. Don't, don't, don't pick up a vacuum now. That's a freeze. Oh. A freeze would be pointless, because we can't trigger the retaliatory damage then. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Is it, is, it, is it all good? Why are there so many red gems, man? It's a little bit difficult to see what I want to do. No! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm so st- I didn't want to do that. Oh! Did I interrupt it? Wait, did I interrupt it in the middle of level ups? No way, right? Oh, we, uh, we only got 96 level ups. <laughs> we got nothing! Okay, it wasn't on the growth doubling, I guess, but there was nothing! There was nothing nothing at all! That is so pathetic! I, okay, it makes sense, like, we got no kills, yeah, I guess, and we didn't have Wicked Season. Oh, that was disappointing. That was really disappointing, I don't know. Let's get all the experience. Uh, where's the red gem? Over oh, there's one, and there's one. Okay. Wait, I... It doesn't level it up? Why doesn't... What, shouldn't it get a mount? I'm pretty sure it should get a mount. Well, isn't that hilarious? So I just checked out the wiki, because I... Like, I thought, am I stupid? I'm pretty sure that it does something. Like, you get a mount, you get area, might... Yes, and those are the three that you get. You're supposed to get them. And I think because I auto-picked the gold on the level ups, it just doesn't happen. We have Limit Break enabled, for sure. I picked up a chest now. Yeah, that's great. Is there a way to not skip chests? I don't think you can do this here. Yeah, you can't do it here. Um, oh, thank you, game. That's a, that's a great birthday present, man. I'm so happy about that. A mount causes more explosions. Area obviously makes the explosions bigger. And might means it deals more damage. So that kind of would have been nice. But just saying. Well, we reached 29 minutes, that is the final wave. Our HP is 41,000. Maybe there is a doubter... Maybe there's a doubter among you that would say, Oh, no, without the shroud you wouldn't have done it. I mean, we 
technically can't do it without modding, right? Or we would have to stand still and do nothing anymore. That would work, so I guess it's possible without modding. But let's go through the process a little bit. For starters, we wouldn't have needed Silent Old Sanctuary at 11 minutes, right? I only took that because we wanted to have more banishes in case it's enough. Oh, wait, let me actually get the experience here. But yeah, in case it's enough and that we would obviously not take anymore because we would know that we don't need it, right? That means we have two Arcana left that we can pick and at 11 minutes we could have picked Awake, which we actually didn't need there. Like, we could have waited until 21 minutes. But also the Gold Fever Arcana, just to heal a huge amount. Like, look at the amount of kills that we get and how do- well, okay, now we don't get kills anymore. But it would be so easy to trigger and keep us at full HP. And with six revivals, with insane healing, with that much armor scaling up, yeah, there would have been no way that the enemies kill us. Do you actually kill me? I, I don't hope so. We shouldn't. Uh, okay. Lol. <laughs> Wait. Does this trigger... No. Well... Oh, we don't have enough to level up. This may have been actually enough to, to redo the trigger, you know, on level ups, that we do end up getting the, uh, the limit breaks, but uh, there's no experience around anymore, so I can't check. Well, that was it. That was a nice ending still. I like it. This feels a little bit weird on my birthday, you know. It's like you grow older closer to death. <laughs> this is what I get to see. It's like, yeah, uh, oh, leave me. Oh, 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 chicken, chicken. Ah! It's, it's not enough. Okay. Yeah. Good night, sweet prince. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video still. That was a little bit chaotic, but I think if you go for zero weapons, then you kind of have to expect that. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.